10 years later, it was achieved and realized. Here we go, Blue. Speaking of such, here's the Hawaiian. Oh, getting sassy. I like that, throwing it upright. It's so special. I've always loved Jacksonville because even from the first year that I went in that year, it wasn't dual sanctioned, but I think I'd gone up just to go up and like experience it. And I connected with so many of the girls there and was probably honestly the first time I've experienced an actual like signing crowd um, because we don't really, we don't really have that in Hawaii. It's getting bigger now, but you didn't really have that. You just surf your heats, do your thing, you know? And so that was definitely very new to me. Um, and that's one of my like best memories from Jacksonville. And so I think, you know, it was, it's a beautiful thing and the crowd there and just the excitement around the event is so positive and it's motivating and inspiring. So I'm excited to enter back into that and get back in that vibe there and, uh, yeah, see where it goes. I think um, this has been an interesting season for me. Um, I'm not used to being this far behind at this time. And I think um, I had a rough run at the Supergirl. And that's really what kind of, you know, messed it up for me. I feel like last year at the Supergirl, everyone in Hawaii had a rough run. Um and I was one of the only girls who made it the farthest, which was out of our first heat. So it's interesting, you know, seeing that girls were like advancing this event um, in Oceanside and like I had lost out. So yeah, my head is really, you know, I'm not trying to think too crazy about everything, but just like taking it heat by heat. And um, yeah, I had a semifinal finish last year and I know I can perform at that wave and I know that even though it's completely opposite of what I've grown up on, I have a connection to Jacksonville um, just from all the time I've put there. It's interesting because I've gone to, I went to five of the six challengers and learned a lot, had a lot of fails, failing and a lot of round one losses and made it out of only a few heats. And, you know, it has really taught me that, you know, not, you're not going to win all the time, which I feel like you go into surfing knowing that a little bit, but I'm definitely being challenged a little bit right now um, mentally, just, you know, looking at that and looking at the distance between me and the other girls. It obviously Jacksonville is the one event that it can actually co close that gap. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it and I'm not trying to think too much of it. Um, I think that everything happens for a reason and the result is a result. And in the end, um, I just want to hope, I just hope that I can control everything that's in my control and have myself ready and whatever's out of my control. Um, see how that works out. But yeah. <laughs>